into Paris looking for answers to questions that bothered him so. He was oppressive, young and aggressive, saving the world on his own. But the warm summer breezes and French wines and cheeses put his ambitions at bay. Summers and winters scatter like splinters in four or five years slipped away. He went to England and played the piano and married an actress named Kim. They had a fine life, she was a good wife and bore him a young son named Jim. Clean country living and 20 more years slipped away. Well, the war took his baby. Bombs killed his lady and left him with only one eye. His body was battered, his whole world was shattered. All he could do was just cry. While the tears were falling, he was recalling answers he never found. So he hopped on a freighter, skidded the ocean, and left England without a sound. Now he lives in the islands, fishes pilings, and drinks his green label each day. Writing his memoirs, lose his hearing, and don't care what most people say. Perpetual motion, feel like shooting his smile and his say. Bill, some of it's magic, some of it's tragic, but I had a good life all. Looking for answers to questions that bother.